Hey everybody, I expect the comics and I'm back. This time, I ended up doing a trade. And not just any trade. Not like a trade you do at an LCS, at a comic show, or a comic con. I did an online trade with a stranger. Well, how did it go? Stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. Like I said, I ended up doing a trade. And uh, like I said, not any other trade, but I did a trade online. So how did this come about? So um, I belong to probably several different chats on uh, Facebook. Face, you know, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook groups, comic groups, so, so you know, so forth. And uh, from time to time, they open up a post that says, you know, trades. And uh, post whatever you have and uh, put up a trade value. So um, I ended up posting up, I forget what it was, like six or seven different, you know, slabs. Um, some CGC and some CBCS. And uh, somebody ended up reaching out to me about my uh, Fantastic Four uh, CBCS book. I ended up, uh, this was a book I ended up getting recently reholdered from uh, when I went to a comic show. And uh, I did a recent video on it. I could show you guys a picture. It was um, uh, Fantastic Four issue number 27. And it was graded at a 5.5. I'll show a picture. And um, I believe I put a value at it for, I think it was 225. I'm not sure offhand. But, um, Either way, so he reached out to me, and he was like, you know, what are you interested in? And I was like, well, you know, for the most part, Golden Age, Silver Age, some bronze, and, uh, you know, pre-code sci-fi, horror, so forth, and um, some amazing Spider-Man, so forth, stuff like that. So he, he sent me a list, and, you know, all the stuff that he was willing to trade, you know, a pretty good list, probably at least 20 or so books. And uh, I was more, you know, in tune with the uh, the pre-code stuff. So um, specifically the um, pre-code horror and the pre-code sci-fi. So um, I was more particularly keen on the weird fantasy because that was pretty much within the price range. He had some really good like vault of horror. Um, the um, what else on there? Some. Uh, for example, if I could just pull up the list real quick. Tales from the Crypt, Vault of Fear, I mean Haunt of Fear, Vault of Horror, Weird Fantasy, Witch's Tales. So really cool books, um, decent grades, and uh, some of them were just like way too pricey. I'd love to have, but it wasn't within the, uh, you know, the price range. So um, I ended up picking out the uh, Weird Fantasy book. So this was um, a cool book. That I've been, you know, I've been trying to uh, collect some more of the weird fantasy, weird science, weird, you know, weird science fantasy books because of the, uh, the cover art is just fantastic. So um, we ended up talking in the uh, in the Facebook uh, chat, and we ended up working out a deal. So um, basically, we'll trade up, and then I'll end up paying him a twenty five dollars PayPal to kind of just even even off the slight difference. And he was like, well, how do we go about this? How do we do a trade? I haven't done many trades online before, you know, and the few trades I have done personally were, you know, at comic shows or at a friend's house. I've done one or two trades online, but it was from, you know, buddies like, you know, Mike, like Night Tiger, you know, people I've known. I've talked to many times before. This person I've never talked to before, complete stranger, and you know how it is right now, especially with the CGC scandal. There's, you know, trust in the community is probably at its all-time low. So <laughs> how did I change that? Well, uh, you know, trust a, trust a stranger with, a, a, you know, a book of mine and uh, hope that I get a book back in return. <laughs> so you take, a, you take a big risk. So um, we started chatting and um, I told him, well, the easiest way, obviously, we exchange information, uh, our addresses. You know, and um, it was like, well, you know, how do I know you're not going to not send me the book? And then I was like, well, I have a Facebook, you know, I have a Instagram page. I also have a YouTube channel. Um, so, like, I'm not going to try to scan you, you know, scam you. I, you know, 
I'm I'm out there. So if like if if I scammed you, you can easily like you know report me, and it makes me look really bad. Um, so I was like, I'm giving you my word that I'm gonna be honest and forthright, and uh, if you can trust me and do the trade, then I'm more than happy to do the trade with you. <laughs> so it's like. We're, we're putting a lot of trust in each other and uh, we exchange information on Instagram too, just to, you know, put another, you know, connection out there and, um, ended up, he sent me his uh, address. I mailed off the book. I even threw him an extra book in there too, since he's, you know, a fantastic, uh, four fan. Um, and I ran the book I had in the collection and, uh, he got his book and, uh, it arrived. No problem. I'm not going to, you know, give out his name or information, just, you know, just to, keep it private between me and him. And, um, I got back home today and I got the package he sent me. So, uh, I haven't opened it up yet. I'm excited to open it up and show it to you guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is the fun of doing, uh, trades. So, um, open this up. And like I said, it is a, it's a pre code book. And, uh, There we go. And uh, I told them, like I said, I just got home tonight. I was working uh, in my travel place, and uh, the package came in yesterday. But I told them, you know, I got to unpack. I'm going to look at the book, make sure everything looks okay. And uh, assuming everything looks fine, you know, just as described, I'll... Uh, send them the uh, $25 PayPal difference just to cover it. And I told them, is it okay if I pay, you know, the $25 PayPal after I receive the comic, just as a sign of good faith, you know? And he was like, yeah, that's not a problem. So uh, I'm glad that we were able to agree upon, you know, some, some good terms. Cause like I said, this is, you know, when you're doing trades, you just, you just don't know. And sometimes with a trade, it just falls through because, you know, of different factors. Jeez, having a difficulty opening. All right, so here we go. Okay, this looks like it's packaged really well. Got the painter's tape on here. There you go. All right. Okay. And uh, he estimated the grade at a 3.5. And he, he showed me several pictures before, you know, before we even decided that this was, you know, going to be the book. He sent me multiple pictures. He told me all the flaws just to make it easier. You know, it's a raw book, so you just want to be up front and show everything. And he did say that there was um, a piece out of the bottom left front cover and staining um, centerfold detached with top staple. All right. So, uh, the book in question, there you go. Weird fantasy issue number 16. Look at that. Really cool cover. I like the aliens there. This is, um, an Al Feldstein cover, which I love Al Feldstein's artwork. And you can see the, uh, what looks like two different planets about to uh, hit earth look at that it's really cool and uh like it looks it looks to be in great shape just like uh just like described in the pictures i'm just gonna open this up take the book out all right so that there was a detached centerfold and popped at the top so we'll see take a look at it Open this up real quick. I believe this came out in, is it 53? Oh, November, December of 1952. There we go. Published by monthly. As you can see, the little bit of staining there at the top. Just like it showed on the pictures. There's some Joe Orlando artwork in this, uh, in this front one. It's called Mass Meeting. So I love, I love these sci-fi stories in here. They're just fantastic. Um, just looking at this really quick. 
Second one is called Skeleton Key, and this one's got some Al Williamson artwork on there. Another great artist from the uh, Golden Age. And the book has some great smell to it. Uh, it smells good. Great colors. The colors in here. The colors in here pop. Look at that. It says, what it said on here. Attach at the front staple. I don't see anything detached, but I'll have to look at it closely. But, but yeah, great book. I'm very happy. Very happy with the trade. So thanks again. I appreciate it. And uh, like I said, even during uh, the times that we're in right now in the comic community with the, uh, you know, the scandals and whatnot, with the, uh, the, the lack in trust that we have potentially in the community, it is still safe out there to send your books out there and do trades. Uh, just obviously do your homework, watch out for some red flags. And uh, if everything looks okay, then go for it. Um, like I said, I had a great time, uh, talking to this individual with the transaction, the whole process. I'd be more than happy to doing another trade with him if he would like in the future or with, you know, anyone in general, if, uh, if obviously if, uh, everything checks out, I'd be more than happy to guys, there's nothing wrong with, you know, we're trusting people out there in the community. Um, but that's it. I'm very happy with the trade. Ended up um, trading my uh, Fantastic 427 for this beautiful copy of uh, Weird Fantasy 16. If you guys enjoy this, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, comment down below. And until next time, Mark Spect the Comics. Oh wait, I want to ask you guys: Have you done? Uh, have you guys done trades before with people in the in the community or strangers online? Let me know how your experience went. All right, guys, out.